We are honored to welcome Dr. Joseph Duffy, uh, Senior Vice President, Chief Medical Officer at St. Joseph's Health. Good to see you, Dr. Duffy. Thanks, Steve, and thanks for having me. You got it. Listen, let me ask you this. We're taping on the 8th of December, be seen after that. It's hard. We're not going to predict. But biggest lessons from a clinical perspective that you take from the COVID-19 experience to date? Never underestimate that a disease uh, has a mind of its own. Be prepared. And when you're prepared, expect to be thrown a curveball. So it's interesting. People say, you know, and let's talk the vaccine right away. Um, as we do this program, again, seen early in the first quarter of 2021, are you confident that the vaccine will be given to the healthcare professionals, you and your colleagues on the front line, that they will A, take it, B, that it will be effective, and it will be done in a fair fashion? Loaded question, I know. Go ahead, doctor. It's a lot of question, Steve, but if you pull the physicians in the state of New Jersey and the NJ Hospital Association did, did that, uh, they found about 50% are willing to take the, the vaccine. And if you pull nurses, you may get 40%. Is that now, enough, Joe? Is that enough? Not enough, not enough. We need uh, over 70, 80% compliance in order to get to where we need to be. So is it, is it a challenge for you and your colleagues to convince your colleagues that this is safe? And frankly, if, I mean, as a, as a citizen, as a consumer, we're, it's, there are gonna be people who say, wait a minute, if the docs aren't doing, the nurses aren't doing it, I'm not doing it. And again, we'll date ourselves because there'll be a lot of public awareness campaigns, et cetera. But don't the physicians and the nurses have to take it in order to send us the message that it's okay? I believe so, Steve. And the only way to do that is to educate everyone so they understand everything about the vaccine and be as transparent as possible about that information. Let me ask you this, separate and apart from the vaccine, because that's only part of it, wearing a mask, social distancing, avoiding large groups, you hear it and you can never hear it enough. That being said, Doctor, to what degree do you believe the existing medications and what are they that appear to be whether it's in a cocktail or whatever you call protocol, I'm not sure what people call it, but what appears to be effective, if not curing, helping to deal with COVID right now? So there's no cure for this disease. We can help it along, we help the body heal. Uh, there's a concoction or a recipe that we call protocol. And that recipe generally entails monoclonal antibodies at present on the outpatient basis, that's new. We've heard about Regeneron products and the Eli Lilly product. That's the monoclonal antibodies that are available today. And then on the inpatient side, uh, dexamethasone, which is a high dose uh, steroid is used intravenously, oxygen therapy, remdesivir, uh, supportive immune therapy like zinc and vitamin C is also added and antibiotics if necessary for any secondary bacterial infections. How about this though? And let me disclose that um, I have been doing leadership and communication coaching at St. Joseph's for many years. And, and my area, my focus around physician communication and leadership is very significant. So I'm, I'm challenged by this. And one of the areas that's come up in a physician leadership academy that I uh, facilitate is this, physician burnout, nurse burnout, clinician burnout. What, is it burning out Dr. Duffy from seeing all these patients and then the who have COVID and then the fear of yourself and bringing it home. What is the burnout about and the fatigue? The way I would analyze this, Steve, it's like running a marathon and then finishing the marathon and never giving one a chance to recover fully. And then you ask yourself, do I have to run another marathon? And do I have to train for that marathon? Well, they're training for it right now. The operations tempo is such a high tempo right now in the state of New Jersey, and especially where we sit in Patterson, that we're seeing the beds filled up with both non-COVID and COVID patients. So people are working at a very high operation tempo. So we'll be going into a surge in a matter of two weeks or so, two to four weeks, and people are exhausted already. And by the way, again, we're taping on the 8th of December. We don't know where things will be. Let me ask you this. The minority community, a high percentage of folks across the country are questioning the vaccine, but uh, uh, I believe a higher percentage of people who are black and brown question the vaccine. 
Um, you're in Patterson. It's a reality in Newark and Jersey City and Patterson and Brooklyn and other places. What's your message to the African-American community in Patterson and other communities who are reluctant about the vaccine? Our message uh, for St. Joseph's especially is that we'll provide you with an abundance of information and be as transparent as we can to let you make an informed decision. This vaccine won't be pushed on anybody, but you should know what the vaccine is all about, the side effects and the implications of getting this vaccine. And unless you know this, we understand there will be trepidation. Let me ask you this before I let you go, Joe. For those who say I'm not going into St. Joseph's or any hospital for cardiac care, for cancer care, for maternal mistake, correct? Absolutely. Because if you're having any medical problems at all, get to the hospital. We'll keep you safe. That is uh, Dr. Joe Duffy, who is Senior Vice President and Chief Medical Officer at St. Joseph's uh, Health, uh, also an underwriter of the work we're doing. Dr. Duffy, I want to thank you so much for joining us. We wish you and your colleagues all the best. And it is not a cliche. You and your colleagues are, in fact, heroes. And you cannot say it and believe it enough. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, Steve. I'm Steve Adubato. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Think Tank with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Funding has been provided by the Turrell Fund, supporting Reimagine Child Care, TD Bank, Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, PSCNG, Johnson & Johnson, New Jersey Sharing Network, Seton Hall University, Summit City, MD, and by ADP. Promotional support provided by CIANJ and Commerce Magazine. And by NJ.com. This is the Seton Hall story, one that comes to life every day on our campus. This is the place where great minds discover, innovate, collaborate, and find their true calling. This is the place where passion has a purpose, where learning inspires leading. The bonds we make, the values we teach inspire our community to take heart and take action. This is Seton Hall University. This is what great minds can do.